hey guys welcome back to my channel so today i did this look this is my everyday look if i'm going out somewhere if i'm leaving the house and i'm doing something then this is my look i go for i usually add lashes the little lashes in miami but i'm not going anywhere today so i'm not gonna waste them. you guys want to see how i got this look these are affordable product this face is inexpensive and beat and looks good so if you guys want to see how I got this, just keep on watching. First, I start off with <laughs> moisturizing my lips because I'm using Carmex. Then I moisturize my face. I'm using this Cocoa and Shea Butter Hair and Body Lotion because my e.l.f. moisturizer is empty. So I need to get a new one. Then I put on my second moisturizer. <laughs> Which is shea butter and other butters. I moisturize. I usually <clears throat> do my eyebrows, so I clean them up first. Each Cosmetics Total Coverage Concealer. It's it don't got a shade name, but one twenty one. And I do this because my eyebrows are two different shapes. So if your eyebrows are two different shapes, you can clean them up first. I like my eyebrows to be natural, not like the Instagram brows. So I just use the e.l.f. Dip Pro Mate or Lock On Liner and Brow Cream in medium brown. Always start at the end. Just put a little bit. And then brush it out. I just basically thin them out with the concealer. What I usually do is prime. So I take my Smashbox Photo Finish Primer and the, it's the pore minimizing one and I place like this much around my nose or even less like right here in this area and just prime and it does a good job in mattifying too. As you guys can see it's a difference this area is matte and this area is still hydrate it and then I take this hard candy mattifying primer it only cost six dollars it's so good you can get it from Walmart and it, it come with a lot of product too and I just place this on my chin and like the center of my forehead I like to like spot conceal before I go in with my concealer or with my foundation so I just use the ColourPop no for the concealer in deep dark 52 and areas on my face, this one is almost gone, but areas on my face that are like discolored. Then that, I just blend it out using my Real Technique sponge. I love this sponge, it's literally the best sponge ever. Foundation, the LA Girl Pro Concealer in the shade Dark Cocoa. It matches my skin very well, especially since it's getting hot outside. Squeeze them out. Just start throwing it on my face like this. After that, I like to spray my face with the Mario Balescu spray because your foundation will blend better if you watch your face. I take this e.l.f. Ultimate Blending Brush, you just go like this, and I just tap the foundation to blend it. I take my sponge and this part of the sponge, and I just tap that right over top of it. They get a little out, hot outside and they just want to keep Anyway, after that, what I do is take the ColourPop same concealer, no physical concealer, and do that 52 to highlight underneath my eyes. This one is more full than the other one I just used because I'm trying to make this one less while well, get rid of that one. So, I just go underneath my eyes with it. Not even a lot. Then I go on my forehead, down the nose, over top of my lip, because that area it has a discoloration. On my chin, then I do my reverse contour with it. I need to let that dry. I'm going to take the Alley Girl Pro Concealer in Mahogany. This shade, I love to use it for contour. But one thing about these is... Make sure you have like a trash can nearby or something. Because <laughs> they do spit like 
if it's separated, water will come out instead of the actual concealer. And I blend out using the sponge. You put some of that concealer on top of your lids also. I just do like one line. As you can see, my face looks very smooth. Um, I literally don't have any filter on or anything. I don't know how to do anything like that either way. So for banana powder, I use the Makeup Revolution powder. It comes in a container looking like this. But I hate this container so much. So I just put in a different container of this other powder I bought a long time ago. That had flashbacks. So I threw out the other powder and put it in here. This powder that sat underneath my eyes. Right, my T-zone. And on my chin. I don't reverse contour or bake with it, whatever. Because I feel like, I don't like the way that looks, basically. It just looks too unnatural. Dip into there. And just go right underneath my eye with it first. And really set my chin. I think I add the most powder to my chin. Because it literally gets oily fast. And then my forehead. After that, I take the Maybelline Fit Me Powder in Dark 40. This is the darkest one that they have. Um, and it's, this is a good powder also. It's very finely milled. I don't use it underneath my eyes because it's too dark for underneath my eyes. But I use it to reverse contour, which I'm about to see right now. And I like to use this powder because it's literally... It looks more natural when you take it off and when people see you out. So if you really want to cut your cheeks but you don't want to make it look like you actually did cut your cheeks, then I think you should use a powder that's closer to your skin tone. I also use this powder to set my smile lines because they crease throughout the day. You want to you wanna set your eyelids, so I'm going to blend that out a little. And take this same powder and just set Look at it. It looks like I put on a neutral tone eyeshadow, but I didn't. I usually do my eyes. This purple shade, or this pinky, this mauve shade, is literally... It had, I had pan on it already. And I just place that all over my eye. My ColourPop Super Shock Shadow in the shade XO. If you guys been watching my videos, y'all know that I love K-pop. And I love XO. Like a K-pop male group. I gotta post it on right there also. <laughs> but it's like this purple shimmery shade. I'll swatch it for you guys. I love this formula of eyeshadow. So I just take my finger and put that all over my eyelid. Eyeliner. Which I don't do wings anymore. Unless we're doing the eye look. But this is like basic. Next I do eyeliner, I just line my lash line. Okay, so after that, now I apply lashes. So I usually use the Lily Lashes in Miami, but I only wear those if I'm going somewhere. Sorry guys, I'm not wearing these today. They are so cute, but so expensive. I got these for free though, because I stole them. So if I had more lashes, I would <laughs> wear the lay lashes because it wouldn't matter. But I don't. But it was good with this look. And in fact, while I'm deciding, let's wipe off this beak. I got this eyelash curler from Five and Below. But I've recently been using this. Well, I used this once. This LA Colors Volumizing Mascara. And it looks so good. I like to start by like, adding most of the product on the outer part. And then do the inner part. So for the inner part of the eye, I will use my Tarte Man Eater Mascara. This mascara isn't the, I mean, it's, it works. It's just, I didn't pay full price for it either, so. But I don't think it's worth it. I think it cost $26. So now I'm going to spray my face again with the Mario Badescu Cucumber Spray. And I don't fan it, I press it in with my sponge oh snap i usually like to do my powder contour <laughs> i'm doing this all out of place i usually like to do my powder contour before i spray my face 
because then it's sticky but oh well I just use the same brush that I wipe my powder off with and I use this shade in the base cosmetics is my ray palette oh my god y'all she discon they discontinued this when they run out of palettes of this palette it's done for good I'm like why let me want to buy another one I'm got no money though let me want to buy another one because I love this shade right here called mocha I like to use it on my glass skin days which I'll link up above in the cards I did a whole tutorial on that so if y'all like more natural makeup instead of full coverage IG Betty Beat makeup, go check that out because it's natural. It's cute. So after that, I do my cream blush and I use the ColourPop lippy stick and fade it. This lippy stick is also discontinued. I'm sorry guys. I said it and I use I usually use this Maybelline Fit Me blush. It's in the shade Barry. It got some like pink flakes in it i don't know it's a little glowy got shimmer in there so i just it's a really cute blush too and brush looks like this i'm gonna tip it off i like to use this elf um what's this called again oh it's on his eyes here blush the gym later first as a base i'm just trying to get rid of it so going with my nose with it i don't really like going too hard on the bridge so no go on my side. If this is my baby palette, you might as well use one of these three highlighters. Honestly, all three of them will work for my skin tone. This one is just really golden. This one is pinky golden. This one is like copper golden. <laughs> but with the Laura Gala one, this, this one is in Gilded Honey. So yeah. And do the temples right here. You want to connect them. The Wet and Wild Lip Liner in Brandy Wine is like this brown but it's metallic but it's not a very pigmented i take my color pop lipstick in grunge it's like this mauve nude i'll swatch it for you guys that's what it looks like a mauve nude a bit in the center press my lips together then i use my finger and blend it out with the lip liner and after that I take this Dosa Colors lip gloss in the shade on repeat it was like a very peach pink I love this gloss it smells so good it smells like some good vanilla cookies or cake now apply it in the center and there we go there we have it just imagine a pair of eyelashes. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you guys liked it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below for more just like it. Um, as, as I said below, as I said before, my glass skin routine will be linked in the cards above. So make sure you guys check that out if you like natural makeup instead of full beat, baby Instagram makeup because that's what I did in that video. Also, all my social medias will be down below, so check that out if you want to follow me there. That would be great. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye.